Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Abdul and I'm an accuracy checking pharmacy technician. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you and we hope to have you around for a while. If you are a seasoned viewer, welcome back, thank you so much for your continued support. In this video, we are exploring the various different careers that are available in the pharmacy sector. I'll break it down into two main sections. So we have section A, which is support staff and section B, which is the main staff. This video will just be a brief look at all the careers, but I will make future videos going into details about each main role. So let's start with section A, which is for support staff. So in support staff, we have cleaners, drivers, and some pharmacies who do a large amount of prescriptions also have packers who as the name says, just pack products into bags. Although these people get the least recognition in the pharmacy sector, in my humble opinion, these people are essential cogs in the working pharmacy machine. Now moving on to the second section, which is for main staff. To begin with, we have a medicines counter assistant who works on the counter dealing with queries and gives out prescriptions, etc. Then we have the dispensers who dispense prescriptions and deal with phone queries, etc. Then we have the pharmacy technicians who also dispense prescriptions, but their training makes them much more astute than the dispensers. So they tend to manage pharmacy stock, order patient prescriptions, chase up missing prescriptions, deal with surgery queries and deal with various patient issues. For example, when drugs go out of stock, it's usually the technicians that speak to suppliers and manufacturers to try and organize some stock and if nothing is possible, they'll normally arrange an alternative with the doctor. Depending on the pharmacy, in some pharmacies you can also find a dispenser doing these but usually it is the technicians. Then we have the accuracy checking pharmacy technicians. They do everything a technician does along with final checking drugs before they are given out to patients. This takes some burden off the pharmacist's shoulders, allowing them to give other services like flu jabs, etc. Then we have the pre-reg pharmacists who are basically graduate pharmacists preparing for the GPAC exam, passing which will allow them to become fully qualified pharmacists. The pharmacy degree is four years at university and then you have one year of practical training called the pre reg year. Although there are rumors that it will be revamped and called the foundation year in the near future. So we'll focus on that in the future videos. After the pre reg pharmacists, then you have the RP, which basically stands for Responsible Pharmacist. This is the pharmacist on duty who is responsible for safe and effective running of the pharmacy. Above the RP, then we have the Superintendent Pharmacist. For small independent pharmacies, usually the RP and the superintendent is the same person. But for big chain pharmacies like your Boots and Lloyds etc, you have a superintendent pharmacist who is responsible for a few branches and tends to deal with more of the paperwork side of things. It's more of an office job sitting behind a desk kind of role. Right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your valuable time with me. I hope I was able to provide you with some value via this video. I'd be immensely grateful if you could drop a like on the video and share it with others who could benefit from it. And whilst you're there liking and sharing, please also consider subscribing to become an integral part of the family. If you have any questions or would like to see a video on a particular topic from me, drop it in the comments below and I sure will get back to you. Or you can hit me up on my socials, the details can be found in the description box below. Even if you don't have any ideas or questions, just come and say hi, you'd be greatly appreciated as it's always cool to chat to interesting new people. I also have a newsletter called Tiny Th Thursdays where I try to share something valuable every Thursday. So you can sign up to that if you wish. The link can be found down below. Please look after yourself, stay safe and I shall see you very very soon with another video. Take care.